What's up, fragrance family? Jay here with Legend Fragrances. Today we are going to do a review of this bad boy, which is John Paul Gaultier Le Mail EDT. This is the original. There's many flankers of this. This is the original. I have only smelled Ultra Male aside from this, so I can't give you any comparison to any of the other flankers. But this one is gorgeous. I love this one. It's absolutely classic, quintessential, um, must have for any fragrance enthusiast. And I would even recommend it for people who don't have a large collection. It's just a great fragrance. It's a great fragrance to start off a collection or be like a cornerstone of a collection. Um, as you can see, pretty cool bottle, obviously. It's got the torso male masculine torso with kind of these stripes this just the whole line and particularly just the smell of this for some reason just reminds me of a sailor I don't know why and it might be they even have a um, flanker I think that's called in in the Navy and this one just has this really great warm fun, playful, cinnamon, oh, it's just so good, vibe to it. Now this is not a signature scent in my opinion because after a while it, the cinnamon can get too sweet, it just gets too, when you wear it consecutively for a few days it's not, it, it's not the greatest, it kind of, you kind of get sick of it. but. It just smells so good. It pops off your skin. It's sexy. It projects well. It's youthful, but not being, you know, too young. Not It's not necessarily a teenager scent, but it's not outdated. It's just so unique, and it's so timeless. Um, I really don't know the projection data of the, the production date. Let's see if I can find the production date on, online. Um, but anybody can wear this, um, for, I'd say from age 18 up to 70. It's just super, super, uh, versatile, super, super, um, just, just checks off all the boxes, right? Except I would say it's probably not a casual sense. So aside from that, this is just, you could wear it, you could dress it up and go out to uh, a high class occasion. You could go clubbing with it. You could have it for a date night. You, you could wear it casually. It's not the best office scent, although you could probably pull it off, believe it or not, in, in the right office settings. Um, it's just, there's just something about it that's so sexy, I think. Um, it was the production date is 1995 so it's been around so it's a 1990s cologne I don't know if that means much um, I didn't I didn't buy a lot or wear a lot of colognes in the in the 90s but it kind of I guess that makes sense you know it's not an 80s it's not past it does fit right there in the mid 90s but it's timeless I don't think this will ever uh, go out of style so the main notes are vanilla aromatic fresh spicy lavender warm spicy green powdery sweet amber cinnamon I don't get any amber okay amber seems to be one of those notes that's always in everything but you can never really fully detect it unless it's like primarily an amber frag and there are amber fragrances out there I'm not a I'm not a big fan of amber frags but apparently it's one of those notes that is in for some reason in everything but it's not distinct or detectable this one, I don't get any vanilla. You know, I'm talking about distinct notes. I don't get any vanilla. I get spices. I get cinnamon. I get kind of a fruity. It's got a fruity vibe to it. It's youthful. It's fun. It's exuberant. Um, so, so sexy. I think this is a lady killer in my opinion. It's just a classic, I think. You will attract the right kind of ladies with this. 
They made a similar one called Ultra Male. So I think the two two main ones for Jean Paul Gaultier is Ultra Male and La Male. But I think this hands down is so much better than Ultra Male. Ultra Male to me is very sticky sweet. Um, it's it's kind of like bubble gum. It's so sweet. It's like hair. It's like it's like bubble gum hairspray to me. That can be sexy and it can be attention grabbing to some people. But it's it's not subtle and it's gonna it's polarizing. It's gonna cut off a lot of people from you. It's 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 more teenagerish, whereas this is more grown up. This is grown up without being too masculine. I haven't smelled a great bottle of um, of uh, Versace Eros because for some reason every time I smell or I, I ordered a bad bottle of it and every time I smell it at uh, the mall, I don't think I, I either it just smells bad or I keep getting bad bottles because I've, I've smelled it a couple times at the mall and I was just like, what is this? Same with Versace Dylan Blue. But people say Versace Eros is one of the best, or they used to say it. It used to be the hype train. Everybody was talking about Versace Eros and Versace Eros was the, you know, the clubbing scent. To me, this is best clubbing scent hands down this is going to be a wonderful wonderful clubbing scent the projection is right i think if somebody gets close to you you're, you're just going to smell so good um it just reminds me of a sailor it reminds me of what a of what a sexy 1960s 1950s sailor would wear for some reason 1950s 1960s but it doesn't have a dated feel it's very modern still that's just how i feel um, I do think, you know, again, I, I, I do think it's very versatile. However, this is a lady killer. You 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 want to wear this when you want to attract women, and and I think this will attract old women, young women. You're gonna and you're gonna get, you're gonna attract classy, quality women. This is not a cheap scent. Only thing I don't like about this, now I don't know if it came with a, um, I, I can't remember if I got this as as a tester or not. I don't think it was a tester. But I can't, it, it doesn't have a cap. It has this little thing right here, which is like a, see if you can see this right there, it's like a, I guess it's called a divot or something like that. And what you do is you gotta take this off and you use, you actually are supposed to use two hands. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Let's see, I don't think I can. Oh, got, got it. Oh, that just shot out. So yeah, you, there's this little thing here that just, keeps it from going down so you take that off and I don't like it and it shot out I gotta go get it but this is what the spray looks like wonderful atomizer really nice really nice um, again this is gonna be a lady killer that you know you want to wear this when you want to attract women if you're gonna go out and talk to women or you're gonna go clubbing and you're gonna hit on women this is what you want you want this with um, you know it's fun but it's not it's not uh it's fun but it's not immature it's adult but it's not too gentlemanly too old it's a bad boy cologne this is to me is a bad boy cologne people say like spice bomb i've smelled spice bomb whatever you know spice bomb is similar to uh bilgari man in black this is so unique i don't think i've ever smelled anything that's even close to this it's it somehow is mature, sexy, youthful, all at the same time somehow. So unique in my opinion. Um, you're just gonna want this in your collection. It, it, it goes online for about seventy dollars. That's how much it costs online uh, at discounters. Totally worth the money. Um, you just want this in your collection. Period. This is just one of those ones that you gotta have in your collection, you just need it. Um, I think some people might not like it or some people might be like, what is this? But I think for the most part, I don't, I can't see anybody really disagreeing with it. To me, just the cinnamon sticks out. That's really the only thing that really stands out. The rest of it is just kind of this fruity, playful, fun kind of smell. Um, the longevity's there, it lasts I'd say about four to five hours. Projection uh, silage is silage is nice. Um, it's not beast mode by any means, but it's good enough. Um, and if somebody, you know, if, if you're dancing, a girl gets close to you, or you're on a date and you guys start hugging and kissing, oh man, it's it's just gonna be fireworks. 
So, uh, let's read what Fragrantica says. Lamel by John Paul Gaultier is an amber forgier fragrance for men. Lamel was launched in 1995. The nose behind this fragrance is Francis Kurjian. I don't know him or what he's done. Uh, top notes are lavender, mink, uh, sorry, lavender, mint, cardamom, bergamot, and artemisia. Middle notes are cinnamon, orange blossom, caraway. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, sandalwood, and cedar. Again, all I really get as far as all those notes is just cinnamon. It's just a cinnamon bomb to me, and, and I love that about it. For some reason, I just love the way cinnamon smells, particularly on this. Not a casual scent necessarily, although you could. I like wearing it casually every once in a while because it just smells so good and kind of motivates me to like be more sexy and you know go out and chat up girls or something. Um, not really an office scent, although you could probably get away with it. Just anything that has to do with women. Date night, talking to girls, going to the store, checking out... Uh, you know food but also maybe you want to talk to that cute uh checker in line or whatever this is going to be imp this is going to i think it will impress most women most women are going to be like dang that guy smells sexy he smells youthful he smells kind of like a bad boy but but yet not trashy bad boy kind of a youthful 1950s bad boy with class this is the kind of thing you would want to wear in like a nice white linen shirt with some slacks you know and some loafers like you would just kill with that uh, you know you got a nice watch you got your sleeves uh rolled up you got a uh, sunglasses going you got your hair slicked back or whatever this is a lady killer man this is a lady killer you gotta have this in your collection i would recommend a full bottle would i buy another bottle absolutely um you just always want this you always want this in your collection man you really always want this in your collection. Can't recommend it enough. For me, at least. To me, I'd, I'd give this a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. It's unique. The value is good. Uh, 70 bucks for that is, is a great deal. Um, at discounters. I've had this bottle for at least a year. And haven't worn it a great deal, but it's lasted. Um... I think the production date was a couple years old, so it's, so it's about three, four years old bottle right now, and it's still, it's still going good, it's, it's still going strong. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, projection performance is, I'd say, slightly above average, in my opinion. Um, and if you and if you sweat, or you're you're going to be doing a lot of movement. It's going to like mix well with your, with your body chemistry and your skin, and it's going to come across. You're going to come across like a sticky. Matthew McConaughey or something, man, you know, like a sticky, sexy dude, and I just think you're, you're going to blow girls out of the water if you get close to them with this. So there you go, man. Sexy, sexy, classy, um, mature, refined, but not too stuffy, not too old, youthful, just everything. It just packs a punch. Everything you want in a cologne right here. Um, price point is great. And let's see, value, great. So overall, I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. I would say the performance is about a 7.5 out of 10. I would say the value is about 8 out of 10. The scent to me is, is pretty much a 10 out of 10. Um, overall, I would give it a 9.5. All right, appreciate you guys listening. Jay Lee with Legend Fragrances. Peace.